Ferengi for the 2022 IFSC. As Paul, so let's see if he has a different method. No, the same, straight through. But now this is different, so he's scrubbing with a knee and he's not going back on the black yet. Yes, he's still managing, he needs to lean to the right to make this left hand hold work get that appropriate directional force, as they say. Essentially, he needs his body on the right-hand side of this hold so that he can use it to go further up. He will have read that with the other competitors. Paul immediately seemed to know what to do. He tried something different. Yeah, he did try something different. We might get a glimpse of the team dynamics. Oh, pushing through slowly. This volume's further away for him than Paul. Can he get the tension? Oh. He does. <laughs> and then faces the wall. The judges need to make a decision on that. And let's have a look at the leaderboard. So Tomoe Narasaki leads the way with one top. That was a flash, a flash is climbing a boulder the first time. So let's have a look at our next boulder in this wonderful 3D animation. That is the kind of crack. And I know a lot of people who love crack climbing will be excited by this, but less of a crack and more of an elevated door. Imagine you're opening a lift or an elevator door, that's the kind of move to get into that crack that the athletes will need to do. It might be possible to get a fist jam in there, but it does not have texture. The root setters have been exceptionally cruel and decided to remove texture from full body coordination movements. Yoshika Ogata. I think this might have been very intentional as composure. I'm not actually sure if he was thirsty. Last year's winner. Up he goes again. I think he's getting a little bit frustrated here. In 13 seconds to go, he's going to call it a day. So, Fuji in third position at the moment. Mejdi Shal. Here it is. Athletes will be starting down at the bottom. The Each green line indicating a limb they have to start on. We think they're going to be facing the audience, or certainly one of the intended beaters is facing out at us. Time will tell whether that works. And then there appears to be a rather large gap in the wall towards rather the next hole. Rather large hold. gap, and I don't think you're statically going to... Maybe you will statically, but I don't think you're statically going to make through this gap. We can see here there is actually an edit, and that long blue volume... The so, starting in perhaps the traditional way. That's the way I'd start that boulder. If I just saw it, that's what I think might be the method. Similar to Paul pressing with the right hand on that textured, uh, untextured surface. He's caught a right toe hook. That's what's currently keeping him on. But Beat it from the root setters. But no, doesn't do it. Thinks better of it. Finding that right toe hook, releasing it though. The right toe right to the hold. Up he goes, this time just wow. sideways. Well, 10 seconds to go, he's got to be quick. Nine, clock ticks down, up with the heel. He's got to press and oh, just running out of time. That'll be very difficult for him. Amazing solution to that first move. Medjdi Sharp on top of the leaderboard at the moment. Paul Jem, final, we've still got one to go. Oh. Don't have the energy. I don't either. And it's another explosive boulder. There it is. Three starting holds. Look at the overhang on that. You've got to generate swing from that starting position. These holds are so far away from each other. The idea is that you do a massive pull up, reach the next hole with the right hand, and have been told to make a press with the left. So it is a coordination movement. And then the end, these holds, it's just power squeezing some bad slope. Chalks up. Skin will be thin. Body aching. Three minutes fifty. Facing a bit different from Paul. Paul was a bit getting some stick. Let's see. Straight on for the next attempt. Trying something different. Oh, static. I'm not sure. It's a long, long reach if you go static. But oh, swinging with the heel up. Oh, out and it works. And it works. Amazing. Corfuji solving the problem. Can he make the last move? Crushing through these slopers. One more move to the top, and he sticks it. Yoshiki Ogata finishes Yoshi off. Yoshiki Ogata sends this boulder. The flower ceremony. Mejdi Shap raises his hands. As he stands with Mejdi. Reassessed. He worked out. They raised their hands in the air. Celebrating. Deep rendition here. There it is. Starting down on the right. 
Going to pad out, palm down to stop the swing. There's the toe catch move in the middle, just to the right of the zone, and then a big stretch up. So yeah, there's a start. And I think the only thing you're missing here with this is the scale. Uh, these walls are big, and this boulder is tall. So each of those moves is quite expansive. Yeah. Absolutely. There is a zone hold, extra points as we know, and the top final move there. <laughs> Yeah, they're back behind him. So, Yoshiki Ogata comes out onto the stage. Let's see what he can do. His last, he was second in Maringin, so he's already been on the podium this season. Yep, he won the overall title last year as well. Um, I mean, Yoshiki, Yoshiki is no stranger to a bouldering final. Uh, he knows what's up. Yeah, and yep. this big press to stop. Now, this next move looks enormous, and there is a potential toe catch yes. underneath. There it is. Perfect. Yeah, something that the Japanese are really good at is what I would call proprioception. So that's kind of knowing where your limbs are in space in relation to your other limbs. So right there, Yoshiki caught the hand and the toe in the perfect spot at the third. in third. Paul Jemps fourth. And let's have a look at a 3D rendition of this next time. And that is a complicated looking thing, isn't it? And this is that right slab wall, which we looked at earlier dead vert so that's zero degrees doesn't lean in at all uh, which you know makes it really tricky yeah and it's complicated those dishes only that part of it which is the black zone pointing to is any good and then a big move up to the top where there is a little jib screwed in are those I uh, just smiled <laughs> <laughs> it is mean disguising texture within no texture so Yoshiyuki Climb that first boulder so quickly. Climb the slab well this morning in the semi-final. Oh, a little bit rushed there. It's hard to know. Yeah, it could be kind of those weird dynamic-y slabs <laughs> which you be. sometimes get. Setting up again. Yeah, it's a little distance. It's a good hold there. Much better there. Yeah. And that dish his left foot on is good. It's a good hold. Mm. It has to be because that's a hard move. And then from then onwards the dishes get worse and worse but he's one move away from the top pressing into that low profile almost underside of the zone I think he'll want to pull his foot up to the top of it at some point but oh there he goes pressing up wow. to be on top and like he's almost crimping the edge of that dish well that <laughs> came out of nowhere <laughs> Wow, uh, that was very, very impressive. Yeah, he popped for the top there. Well, that is our leaderboard. The top three separated by attempts to top at the moment. So far. Yeah, and you have to come round a corner on it as well. And that shows the corner. That flat hold, first yellow one uh, up there in the right of the screen is really textured. So uh, you definitely don't want to be slipping off of that hold too many times or it's going to take all your skin which yeah. is definitely a factor in the final. Yeah, for sure. It will be getting thin up there. Some big holds to finish off with, hard moves to get to that. Thinking that he's looking to keep that going. So it gets set up, and there's a, a catch underneath. You need to go with the left and catch under up, and the right is not a good hold. It's slopey. There's no edge on it. You can see him quickly get off of it into that better hold. And this is the old school drop knee, but currently he's doing a new school <laughs> heel hook. Yep. <laughs> How disappointing. <laughs> and a toe hook. So this is it, so it's a double jump. He comes in with the left first, snatches down with the right, and then quickly he'll want to bump off it, which he does, into the better right hand hold. Setting up again. Yeah, high toe hook. Oh, strong to catch that. Up onto the edge, leaves room for the match. Nice bump of the left foot up there. His next hold's good. Oh, and it needs to be because it's so physical that move, more so than it made than he made it look. And now a huge jump. You can see here he really doesn't have any feet. Oh, oh he doesn't need them. Doesn't need them. Yoshi can get out to three out of three, staying in the top spot. We wait for our fourth and final deciding boulder. It comes all comes down to this. Let's look at the 3D version of it. And this is almost an outdoor style route. It mm -hmm. involves a hand traverse at the top. Okay. It's exciting stuff. So the steepest panel of the wall here. Yeah, starting Saving down low. The most physical for the end. 
I it's like it. Exactly. And you can see all those chalked up sections on this 3D drawing. There is the zone. That's back volume. And this is this hand traverse. There's a little jib, and then there's a corner that you're going to have to mm -hmm. get. That's the final Another hold. Another jibbed top. Getting a good look. I think on a boulder like this, you really want to give low attempts, uh, too many tries, and you'll get too tired. So getting a good look at that top traverse and the top hold so you do it right the first time. It's really important. Little feet to be had here as he heel hooks his hand, really. Oh. Using the toe nice there, trying to find something. Double okay. heel hooks. Zone beckons. Next hold into it. Well done. Nice keeping pressure on the heel there. Oh, spinning around. Bumping the hand, trying to get adjust, finds the jib. And now he's going to have to swing up to that corner. Huge move. Oh! Of course. Tokyo finals. 100%. I think nobody would doubt that. Okay. So Yoshiyuki again, he had a long rest. And now he Pretty needs to much just enough time for one more attempt. I don't think he's going to fit in too. So it's all in this moment, pure power from him comes out and you can see actually a little bit of water dripping down we'll talk about that in a sec the match is underneath this crimp looks really small almost seamed there since it's so blocked oh power to bring the right hand through brings the toes oh, into trying play something similar oh. danny comes that would have been it i think he was i mean it was it looked like a power thing there just getting a bit tired at the end we saw the huge rest to fail to get a zone on one of the boulders, everyone else getting zones or tops. High scoring round. Our three Japanese athletes on top of the world as they stand up there. Great work from them. Base rule that most athletes will work off is if it is a powerful boulder, you give yourself about one minute. That is the amount of time it takes for the creatine phosphase to recharge and have your power left. And here we have a look at boulder number one. Here for the men, you see the three starting points and then the zone hold marked in pink across the way and the top must get two hands, show control on the last hold. We've, we've I mean, he's a veteran at this point, even at 24. You know, 61 total World Cup appearances, 40 of those in bouldering. And, uh, a few podiums to his name. You can see he confidently jumps straight onto that left foot. Now, can he maintain this composure through to the finish? Ooh, wow. Foot slip, but so solid on that right hand. No stress. A little catch, and up he goes. Yes. And feet down low to match Yoshiyuki Ogata. No mistake. Well, I mean, a slip, but no mistakes. So there's a look at our table to this point. After the first boulder, four flashes. And then fifth and sixth, just cut down to attempts to top. Getting into boulder number two. Let's have a quick look at the model. What do we see here? This boulder is an absolute power fest. So you can see these big black round holes that really sort of defines the nature they're very slopey they're downwards facing so you're undercutting them it's absolute power getting to the zone very difficult move and then quite an exciting top yeah. we're not just looking at oh nikolai was unable to squeeze the right hand hold the, the explanation is much much further back in the start of the movement than that Shiyuki Okakuta jumping up in here, moving confidently, looking very strong. Oh very my goodness, casual. very casual indeed. And are we going to see a flash of this boulder? Yeah, we are. It looks like it. Can he get the right toe up? It's very high for him, but not a bother. Jeez, Yoshiyuki is going to be feeling quite happy with his performance in this final tonight. Here's a look at our leaderboard to this point. So at the top, Yoshiyuki Ogata, Mejdi Shauk, and then Lei Kawamata. 
in the finals and say, L guess what? Now we're going to make you climb a slab. A particularly, how do I describe it? High risk at the start. You can see there's a lot of rubber on these footholds already. That is a consequence of the feet sliding off in that position where theoretically the athletes are standing well, but the friction just suddenly fails and they're off and they get to move across. But there must be a point where a little bit of doubt starts to creep in, especially if you know it's not your style and you have to push that away. The little voice on your shoulder that says, are you sure you can do this, Boulder? Oh yes, certainly. Again, harking back to the mental training. But as we can see, Yoshiki has figured it out. Now let's see how comfortable is he on those feet. Pretty good. And with a minute left, he's setting up to have a go at the final move. Just the thumbnail on the pebble. And then looking confident now. Every decision is spot on. Yoshoyuki Ogata. Oh! 30 seconds now. This is serious business. There it is. Keep Getting one eye on the clock. Established. Yeah, one eye on the clock and one eye on Ogata. He will have some time, but he's setting up for one of the lowest percentage moves we've seen in a while. Let's see now, Yoshiyuki Ogata in the position. Can he get to the top hold? Oh, he yes! Can. Oh, yes, another top with under 10 seconds. Mejdi Schalk at the top of the leaderboard. I mean, as close as it gets. One attempt ahead of Yoshiyuki Ogata. Lei Kawamata right behind three and three. Might even see a bit of a smiling face. Coming into the steepest part of the wall that the men are going to climb on. A good look at the angle there. Walk us through it. Well, here we are. You can see three points below, one point above to start. And getting established there is very difficult. Swinging. They've got a good jug on the left, but it's very far away very unconnected to the rest of the climb. So I think it would be quite difficult to do steady. Ahead, Kawamata for that silver medal. Yoshiyuki though, if there's one climber I think is going to smash through this top session, it would be him. Yes. Oh, wow. His limbs move so quickly and so precisely when he's in big dynamic positions. Those climbers that doesn't have to take two or three swings to get reset. There we go. He's coming right back in. Ooh. Oh, maybe getting a little too rushed. Too comfortable yeah. in this position. Now gets the fingers in. Is that three fingers he finds in this pocket? Yeah. And now <laughs> look at that. He was quite happy there. Let's see now Yoshiyuki Ogata. One last move. Yes, he makes the stab. Yoshiyuki Ogata is going to finish off his round. Is he going to get a top? Yes, absolutely. Puts a stamp on that silver medal. All we need is his own. Put it down. Sixth place in the semifinals and just sweeping the floor tonight. Uh, a wonderful climbing from everybody in this final. There it is. Four tops in nine attempts. Not much between him and Yoshiyuki. Four tops in 11 attempts. Then Lei Kawamata getting up three tops to secure himself that bronze medal. Accustomed to seeing three Japanese climbers in the final. We've seen as many as five yep. uh, last weekend. Generally seems like he's he, he's quite happy to watch mm -hmm. and like enjoying himself and he yeah. looks so serious in that photo. Someone told him he had to take a passport picture for his <laughs> profile picture and he task achieved like I was in ISO in semis and he walked in just full of smiles I was like good morning he was like, good morning yeah. <laughs> he uh, loves to do this yeah did you he pulled up into that so nicely with the shoulder really securing that hold well yeah I, almost looked like he looked back at the crowd for a second <laughs> like, did you all see that <laughs> well I love that little heel hook yeah moving he doesn't need to be but he's moving Maybe a little adrenaline. Yeah, moving He's rushing quickly. through the top of the boulder. I, see, I mean, he does also seem a little cold. Just yeah. straight into it. Yoshiyuki with the only flash. And then Fuji Paharts and Chan with 
two attempts to get to the top. And then Le Kawamata just behind Ross Fulkerson. You still need to play that mental side of it and make sure that you can get yourself in a good place. Steepest part of the wall, Megan, boulder <laughs> number two. Straight into that steep angle like you were saying. And the start, likely the men are going to have to start by getting into those double toe hooks out right. It'd be interesting to see if they can do it another way. And they kind of have to throw into a crimp and then a press and then into that zone hold. And it's, it's quite grappling until you hit that right volume right below the top hold. This, this <laughs> seems nicer. Honestly, anytime you have to kind of, from the mat, throw your toes into a toe hook, it's a weird amount of energy that you have to use in your abs and your lower back and even in your shins. So better to do something else. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Approach technique and lots of different ways to showcase power. World Cup finalists, but the ability to bend your arms. Uh, Yoshiyuki is one of the best. <laughs> See what he does here. Wow. Man, and he was on the verge Sliding. of that helicopter effect with the legs too and really reeled it in. Now this move shouldn't be a problem for him. Just has to set up prop. Mm -hmm. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, very. But hey. He's making it maybe a little bit harder. The left side of those two <laughs> is definitely worse. Not necessary to do it this way, but making it look good. Is he gonna go straight up? I, oh no, no, he's gonna come down, nicely done. And then go all the way around the other way. <laughs> Yo, Shoyuki Ogata. Amazing. Second try. I'm just gonna say that it's a bit tight at the top of the field right now between Ogata, Paharts, and Chan. Similar what? to the women's round. Um, I guess we could use the expression neck and neck. <laughs> all tied up, knotted. It, but you can't really drive heavily into it. And when you have chalk on your hands, it definitely makes it even more slippery. So that undercling start, they have to kind of work their way out left and then continue to work their way into the zone, standing on these delicate footholds. Lots of pressing, small feet, not a lot of not a lot of good feet. And then the last move is where that coordination is. And I'm glad we got a close up on that little screw on because <laughs> you are likely not to see it because it really blends in in person. And you have to go back and check out the boulder. This is his chance to overtake Yongwan Chan and keep pace with Anjay. <laughs> Just flying through. <laughs> this boulder. I mean, I promise you those moves are difficult. <laughs> the people fell off doing those moves many times oh, in a row. Oh, yeah. Yoshi Fiogata lining up the last move, just having a look at the feet, and he's... Oh, he kind of was on the screw hole. Yeah. That was so smart. And again, flash. He got that <laughs> one right. We stay tight on the leaderboard. <laughs> Yoshiyuki Ogata and Andre Pahart separated only by count back at this point. Kokoro Fuji just behind on attempts. <laughs> yeah, you can you can get hammered in a World Cup final. So Ross, great, great job to compose himself and put down that top there. Another steep angle looking at men's number four, starting in kind of a wedge position, and then you kind of have to explode out. You could go with the left hand, likely easier with the right hand, and then kind of stopping with your left hand on the volume and into this blocked zone hold that you are likely going to cross left hand to and come out finishing second. You can't really do much better. <laughs> no, it's true. These are what podium oh. finishes. Oh. Wow, with the heel at the same time. Different coordination, still coordination though. You know, it's it honestly looks less risky, but it is still very risky because yeah. throwing in that heel, he's shorter, so he had to throw that heel, and that's a dual text hold. So. And oh my Nicely Lord. absorbing. A great look at the angle there. Yoshiyuki Ogata for gold. Amazing. Gold medal here in Salt Lake City. So excited. And I think he might even know it. Take it in. You see Andre there, I think, saying, let's throw the flowers. There you see it. So close. Yoshiyuki. All the difference being in that count back, slightly better score in the semifinal round.
Trophies up. Ladies and gentlemen. Tough looking boulders for you, and that is our top six. Climbing is, but you'd be surprised the ability that you can climb, this level you can climb without so much strength if you really fine tune your method. Well, they're gonna have to get good methods on this. This is boulder number one, our 3D rendition of it. You can start by coming across that slab and catching a big shoulder move there, a toe hook underneath. A zone hold, that's our first scoring opportunity. The aim of the game is to get to the top of the boulder, indicated there by the top, but the zone is the first scoring opportunity. These toes seem to roll along the hold and you really need to activate, pull that leg up in order to lock you in. I want to explain his footwork here because he starts left and right and then does a strange little movement. That's because he has to start where the red line is indicated and he makes it into the zone this time. Uses the blocked crimp, unlike Doyon Lee. And now thumb into the top. And he needs to work out how to bring that left hand. You have to match the final hold in control. You need to really pull with that right heel to lock you in. He's struggling to get the tension there on the right hand side. And that's what I was talking about. Yeah, brushing cleans the hold, gets all that chalk and grease off, which climbing is always a game of friction. Well, Yoshiko Gata knows the sequence now. Bump out to the right, has he worked out this left hand though? He needs to bring it in, match the top. Keep an eye on that right side, that's where he's gonna create the tension that's gonna lock him in. Creeps up, holds it, that will be awarded. Max Mill, we just saw him flashing that boulder. Excellent effort from here, Meichi Narasaki, Yannick Fluit, Tomoe Narasaki, Doyon Lee, and Yoshiyuki Ogata. Well, this is boulder number two, and one of the most complicated things I think I've ever seen on a climbing wall. There is an absolute spray of holds all over the wall. Really interesting the use of volumes to manipulate the angles the climbers are working with. It seems like maybe overkill, but actually every volume on this wall will affect how the boulders climbed. There is the zone hold. An interesting section in the middle. It goes up and then it goes down, and that is the top. And when he put his hand on it, his brain said, OK, I can pull really hard on this, and it forgot about the rest of the body and what was going on there. And he just pulled his feet off the wall. So into the crimp and out left, and this is this downwards movement, swinging, kicks off with the legs, catches the right, and then flicks into the left. Great looking move, isn't Very it? Very casual there. Elevator holding it. Open an elevator door style move there. Here we are, Yoshiyuki, through the first crux. So he's coming over to the left. Out he goes. And now he's got one move towards the top, catches it. Very powerful here, misses the foot. Up he comes into the first press position, right foot up, reaches to the crimp. And then this kick sequence we've watched before, dropping down, way more fluid now from him. Matches into the zone, and then this is the move that's causing him problems, he makes it work. Final section to go, he's got time, 15 seconds, needs to bring the left in, but falls from high. Max Milne leading the way. Yannick Flo and Tomoe Narasaki are top three podium contenders at the moment. Two boulders to go and everything can change. 3D boulder of boulder number three and this is all about pressing. All about pressing. I love the start where you step up on two. It's treated like a slab but it is definitely not a slab. You are on an overhang. You step into these two thumb catches almost simulating not what you would expect in a normal climb but very hard to do. And then pressing up towards the zone from this point on, it is all about the shoulder power. We're going to see some shoulders popping out of their bodies. It's tough, this climbing life. Yoshiyuki Ogata stands up, palm into the top. There we see the shoulder muscles coming out. Oh, that's a handcuff move. We saw this in the women's final. Crossing himself up, but so awkward to then get your feet through, but he makes it work. That is all pressing through the hips to drive across, and... It's like a human flag move, that, isn't it? I think it's a lot harder. Yeah. So, he now gets to rest, leaning backwards, keeping his arms straight in order to rest properly. That's a better position than arms curved. Shoulder power round two. Oh, 
it's a disgusting looking move, but he's high up on the wall, one away and a massive fall. Some things up, Yannick Floet with that effort, jumps into first position, Max Milne in second, Tomoe Arasaki third. Absolutely outrageous moves, I would pitch to say. Really, really big first move. So right and left hand in these starting positions and potentially a bicycle on that black volume and a massive, massive throw out to that hold on the volume, screwed onto the volume, coming across to the zone. And then as they come up to this section, you can see the hold on the next big volume is not pulling straight down. Rehearse the movement a couple of times before they can stick it. But if one does do it first time, so much more impressive. Yeah, the flash on this, but he's done it second go. Straight into the crimp. Now his high toe and his slap to the side pull dish. Up he comes. That's the toe that's hanging in. Gets the right hand, gets the left, matches, and he's going to aim for that jib. At one o'clock, he's reaching for it. He hasn't found it. Slightly to the left, to the left. Oh, and misses it. On well, that big yellow ball. Great. Press from the right hand to stop that rotation out left. Up with the right, matches. Incredible move with the toe that high. Looks for the crimp, can he get it? He's reaching for it. Ah, oh, he was close that time, it's there. So Yannick Floe at the top, followed by Max and Tomoe Narasaki. That is our podium finishes. Doyen Lee, Yoshiyuki Ogata and Michi Narasaki down in sixth place. Well, that is our top six. So two, two South Korean athletes, two Japanese athletes, and the Japanese have been dominating, especially the men's final recently. German and Team USA in there. So we're going to have, that is uh, Boulder number one. Let's just have one last look at that in this three-day rendition to remind us what we've got in store. Remember, it's a Boulder problem before you even start the thing. So you've got to do some quite hard climbing just to get into the position. And if you're new to bouldering, we'll be taking you through that starting position as we go on. So once you've got established, once you're on the thing, with that right hand up on the crimp, you then continue towards that zone. Difficult moves, a lot of body tension required for this, and screw-ons on top of the volumes, and then finishing, oh, could be quite a nasty catch move onto that top. So he's off the ground, gets going, and the start we're familiar with by now. Very familiar. Looks like he has some decent pace. No bother with that first pull. And let's see, we've got so many flashes on this boulder. Do not want to mess it up. Yeah, he doesn't know it's an easy one. And it certainly seems a bit easy at this stage. Look at that cross through. Complete control from Yoshiki Ogata. Let's have a look at the result. So, Yoshiki Ogata, he keeps his first place position because of his qualifying from the semi finals. Colin Duffy in second, Kukuro Fuji, Yannick Floet. Zhang Wanchon and Doyon Lee down the bottom because he took two attempts instead of one. It's the line that we work with. And if someone is swinging, uncontrolled, only has one hand on, then we don't know. Maybe they would have fallen off at that point. Well, boulder number one. A little easy, perhaps, for the standard of these athletes, but things are going to get harder here because this boulder really ramps it up with some very tricky moves. So, Dan, talk us through the sequences that we're going to see here. Well, this incredibly difficult start. We're also going to see some quite high feet there on the right into the start, and then as they come across the zone, suddenly it's going to be very, very high tension. Walking their feet along these black crimps and then coming down. So... There is our leaderboard down on the bottom left. Colin Duffy currently in the lead, followed by Kokoro Fuji and Yannick Floe. Ogata, of course, down at the bottom because he hasn't tried this. It will change the second he gets that zone. So it's smearing, palming, kicks that right left, that right leg out to the left and then drops into the zone. Different sequences from Colin, doesn't match that zone hold. Very powerful. So, as we know, watch the feet, watch the feet. <laughs> so Yoshiki Ogata has two minutes on the clock. Let's see what he can do here. Across hands at the start. Into the heel hook. Gets the salad bolt. Making another adjustment there on that hold. And reaching through and under. 
So far, so good from Yoshiki Ogata. One minute 38 on the clock. Oh, the left foot pops, but he holds it this time and then goes. Well, he's still in the lead, Yoshiki Ogata. One top, two zones and one attempt. Colin Duffy, second. And Kokoro Fuji in third place. Yannick Floe, Zhong Won Chon and Do Yun Lee finishing things off. Yep, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It looks like a bit of a, we talked about a learn movement. It looks like you want to put those palms on the two big yellow holes right beside the starting holes. There is always the option of getting a foot up there, but it's going to be so hard to generate enough momentum to get you all the way above that hole. So likely we'll think, okay, taking a palm, and then by the end, I think we're going to see something quite exciting. Minutes left, he's got time. This time he does. Look, Look oh, and then that. down. Touching the non texture Yeah, you wouldn't part. want to normally, would you? Yeah, it was. It was. It just didn't happen, and now we are seeing it happen often. I think I like no text. Look so he's up. at that. The precision. He was up there. Didn't need to pull hard in the zone. He just had it. Now, will he hand swap? You could do it with the left. No, nope, he decides to go to the right. And now the nerves will be kicking off for him. Leaps gets it, and watch the leaderboard. Great effort from Yoshiyuki Ogata. Well, let's have a look at the results. Colin Duffy, heroics from him in first position. Doyon Lee in second, and that man we just saw him, Yoshi Ogata, in third position. Kokoro Fuji, Yannick Floe, and Zhong Won Chon finish things off. Possibly walk away with the gold here on the final comp of the year. And it's all about this boulder, this beast of a thing, yellow and blue, smeared across the wall, left to right. Dan, and talk us through this. Well, we're going to find out if climbers want to start facing in or facing out. And then right from the start, you're going big jump to this first hold. Don't think anyone's going to do it static. I don't think they need to. And then almost an iron cross through to the next. And then one of those 360s coming under the zone. And then you're into the power piece, this big yellow macro. You've got to match with both hands, figure your way to the top. He's facing out again. Root reading being the key here tonight and makes it second go. So Yoshiyuki begins going right, matches in. Look at that, so smooth from him. Oh, if this works out the way I think it is, he's going to be devastated at the end of this comp. Oh, but he falls. Right, here we go again, facing in, making that trickier method work. Out he goes into an iron cross. So casual through that movement. Locks in. So he comes out now, matching the horrible pocket. Out he comes into the slope at feet outright, matches underneath. There's the crimp. One move away for Yoshiyuki Ogata. Oh, but he loses the left Another foot. slip. So, the crowd are asked to make some noise, and I'm sure they'll oblige as Yoshiyuki Ogata, once again with 38 seconds on the clock, gets going. That moved so much control and power needed for that. Thumb tucked underneath. And spirals his legs as he locks it in on the right into the sloper in ease and again a foot slip for Yoshiyuki so let's have a look at our scoreboard the confirmation Colin Duffy three tops and one zone for victory here tonight in Innsbruck Doyan Lee second place two tops two zones for him and Yoshiyuki Ogata two tops and two zones as well coming down well the same score basically look at that so count back deciding that position final and final taking place at the same time as today lead at the weekend of course and make sure you go and check out the para climbing from yesterday that was another wonderful event so congratulations to colin duffy and all of our finalists here.